maybe we can Good. go through a bit uh, more about that the the spots in this point. I can share the screen and we can go through that developing of the recipes more. I can yes, we do. I think this, this is good good point for Sami to take over and, and start to share the screen. Yes. Now, if you are still pinning me, now you can quit pinning me. So if you have challenges to see Sami's presentation, so unpin me. Okay, so do you see this? This one now. Yeah. OK, good. So when you go to this one after you after these lessons, when you go to the modules and you find the research from the restaurant, you can find the tasks from here. You can also find it on tasks later on to shown. But you will make in your team these kind of uh, uh, recipe cards and uh, about the food. Now we take just example from the, the one that you see it underneath, the cabbage and kale salad. So it's a one component that will be in this dish underneath. So there you collect first where it comes from for the pop-up competition recipe. Then the chef picture there, nicely presented, your own. Then you have the ingredients that you will need for this one. Then a short method, how to do this component to the menu and to this dish. The components can be variety. They can be different kinds. One can be the sauce or what or, or, or like uh, one can be the, the, the vegetables and the, one can be the main thing, depending on what kind of things you are creating. So we are making these cards from the food that you are inventing on this kind of a uh, platform. There is always including these logos, really important to have. Are we going to have this one? Um, also on tasks later today, how it look like and where you can find the one that you can uh, you can make and edit. But it also showing from here. So here, just a quick look. You can also see from this restaurant view how they make that one. There is the 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 chef who makes the food inside of this Haim restaurant, the same cabbage salad, the ingredients, the method. So this can be uh, or this will be yours also later on when we are making it happen. Just to make sure that you understand the idea of that. OK, thank you. Hermanni will take the lead again from from this. Hermanni, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I just changed the computer. Had some challenges, but I'm here. Uh, so you went through the. The, the, the recipe card recipe cards and now we have gone through this uh now oh, i have to get back to the uh, cooking for the future but i think we started do you have questions about this locality or does the concept of locality and what do we at this point, we are trying to uh, look and get with the locality. Do you have a clear or do you start to have an understanding over that? Hi, uh, I just want to repeat again to make myself understand about it. So we need to create a card 
and then or do or do we need to go to the local and take the photo and all do all those video or just make a card and uh, show uh, share our recipe i i confusing about that sorry about yeah that. yeah so it is confusing uh, or could be because like i mentioned in the beginning that uh this whole module the local food creating menus it, it's like um one whole course taking several weeks or half of the semester. So we are not going to go through all the tasks in there today. But we, we just need to do only the card and the recipe and the picture of the uh, food product, what we would like to present. Is it so like that? I will, I will show, uh, I get this. Uh, and I will show where you find the answer to that. I just have to now share my screen. Okay, so in here, where you have the uh, core website, Taste of the Future Cooking, uh, cooking competition event, the modules, local food and you have these two platforms so we have the cooking competition event and from this cooking competition event we get the uh, content the base content and then from the pop-up part from the e section you basically get the idea of the Going to be the pop-up competition instructions. Yes. Somehow this hasn't been updated. And I... Okay. So we go down from there. Okay. From again this one. And this is link. Okay, so uh, we show you the first one last time. Somehow, for some reason, this one yes. hasn't been updated, but it will be. But the main, mainly the uh, date is 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 not going to be, of course, this because that's already gone. So we have three steep three three street food dishes and they have different it now the idea is it's like a kind of a even though they're street food disease it's a start their main course dessert type of idea so we have meat some type of meat we have seafood dish and then uh plant-based and, and also the one sweeter one so no even though it's street food it shouldn't be no finger food we eat it with fork and spoon, spoon, and the portion price is two to three euros. And then, of course, now how many we will do, it will depend on the actual event itself. And about the plant-based cooking and the dishes, when it's going to be the Estonia's turn to have their presentation, their uh, teaching lesson, they will talk about that. Okay, yeah. um, and, yes. and what we do, we do the, the ingredients, so the recipes, we do some calculations, and then we do the menu sign. So, but that's the stuff that is, we are still going to go through. Uh, and all, okay. of this, all of this stuff, then you will produce a present in your blog. So the block works like the portfolio. So all the ta all the uh, documents that you prepare, you share in the block. So this content that Herman just showed to you, this is the main thing where yes. we are aiming. Today, your question was, 
Do you need to make a video about the restaurants and everything uh, else? Yes, no, and because so I, uh, sorry, uh, because I saw um, uh, talking about low quality uh, product and uh, we were discussed about the low quality. I was just wondering that do we need to go through the local uh, where they pro providing the thing and then take a photo and create all those and make the story and so on, or just make a, create uh, some menu and create some poster and post on, or this is the, the, the question I, yes. I little confusing yes and the answer to your question is yes that you will do some kind of a research about the local producers okay. but because of COVID-19 we are not going to go to the farms but you make some kind of a research and you make it at home like a presentation okay then, now I understand yes. yes and then you will do those uh, recipes that we just show it to you and then you start creating also the food including all of this but we go step by step yes. the first things that we're gonna learn today is how to use this uh, this platform and what kind of an information you can get out of it when we have keeping the lessons today and only the main targets the tasks that you need to do after the lessons Yes, thank you. Will this, is this clarified, do your yes. answer? Yes, thank you. thank you. Good question anyway. Yes, and then that you are not too confused. I look for the, the right document, the updated document. For some reason it's not updated into Tingling, even though it should be going there automatically. So, The documents that we produce are the ingredients and then of course the ingredients list. You need to do uh, uh, the list for the ingredients that you have together. It's like a shopping list. Then you calculate because the selling price is two to three euros per portion. Uh, so you have to calculate that can I make any profit with this? You can't sell five euro ingredients with three euros. And then the carbon footprint calculation, you get the guidance to that from sustainable gastronomy lessons. And of course, you should take under consideration the special diets. And then the presentation, the documents. You do this poster, so the menu sign is not the best possible word, uh, but it would be more like a poster. And then into that, you implement the story. It should, it's not just black text on the white paper. It should implement somehow the story behind your food. And it's presented in social media. And now in this competition, your blog is also then after at the end of the whole course or the after, at the end, end of the pop-up event competition day. Your blog is also under the evaluation. Yes, and that's the whole aim for the for the whole project. Now we can go back to the start where we were. Herman is now rolling there and pressing the A. And there we have the task. Today's task in one of those tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, so the number one gives the information, extra info, then the orange is uh, even more, and this is then the tasks for today. Yes. And so you, you can either write it down or then you know where to find it from. No, this is the answer to the question earlier what to do now. First of all, you find out from the internet your local producers on the area and different kind of products. So then we don't meet the local producer, but you make some kind of a documentation from the internet about them, what they produce and what kind of a, a business idea they have. You make a short slideshow about that one, maybe some photos, and some story if they have it in the internet. Yeah. Collect or, the ideas 
and then add it to your blog or portfolio. Yeah. And now when we do the public uh, blog, so we have to remember the copyrights. So we have to be the idea that if you meet and take the picture ourselves, everything is fine. But now uh, most likely we can just use the pictures that we find from from the net. So one one way to do things is to uh, share links. And if you find some YouTube videos, you can embed those and, and so on. So there's a task number one. You can always go back to the uh, Cooking for the Future site and find these all information that you showed right now. The red ones are extra information if you are more interested about the things. And then the ones that you need for the job is here. Uh, the actual task, the PowerPoint presentation that we just went through, and then the YouTube video that we created with Hermanni for you. And inside of that YouTube video, you have the spots, the hotspots that leads you to another videos and another information. So this is the starting point and the starting screen when you are going into the Internet to the Cooking for the Future pages and found found this uh, uh, module there. So there's a lot of information that we will need, but we're starting always alphabetical A, B, C, D, E, and so on. Now we go through to number C, from A to C, because there is more information for you under the C. Here you find the same ones. First, in this part, what do you learn? You describe and present your menu. And then if we click open the video, you find the same video that was in the beginning. And a third one is again the task that you will need. Let's see what it's in there. There you have task for the recipe. This recipe is you will create when you find out what kind of food you are making. And then the final one is the version that you can edit. Recipe card layout. And you can download it there from your own computer and start editing with your own ingredients and your own food. Then you are implementing the story into the food that you are creating. And then you make the blog about that. So those are the first things now to do. To start up with it. The simple and easy things. If you want to be more creative, you want to subscribe more, you want to go through more things. There's a lot of information in this module if you want to research more. But those are the main things that we are aiming and asking from you to do. Is it now clear in this part? Yes, it does. Thank you. Great. OK, so that was now the, uh, the part where we talk about the ingredients and the outcome. So then when we start to talk about the, uh, the story behind the food. Because people, they don't want to just buy food anymore, they want to buy experiences, the reasons why. So in this section, uh, we go through what the creativity can mean in menu planning. It can mean many things. Here you have a few examples. 
And if you think about the task first, so the task is to implement the story behind the food and create visually appealing and selling menu card for the guests to read. So now this menu card differs from the recipe card. The recipe card is something that we can cook the food with. So it's like for the chef or the kitchen, people who are doing preparing the food. And then this menu card is for the customer to see what they are going to have. And in this menu, you can implement different kind of stories or and ideas behind the food. Like, for example, let's take the Haim and the, the one where, where we were already in the beginning of the day. So we are picking up different ingredients from the farm. We get them into the Haim restaurant. We make food out of that one and we are creating the story with this owner or some other kind of ideas behind the ingredients. And we are adding that one as a story into the food and into the menu through uh, the chefs by telling that or by like just writing it into the menu already. Like where it comes from, what kind of a story that food have and so on. For example, fish, different kind of fishes. How the fishermen get up the idea that they starting to to be a fisherman, or how their family infected with the with the fishing and all these kind of an ideas. There's always something that have implemented to the to the food, so it makes it more interesting. That's what it means, the food behind the story. And in this section, there is this uh, PowerPoint that also goes through the things. For, so for the consumers, their local well-being is most considerably manifests as local food. So the popularity of local food and organic food has been growing rapidly like reflecting on uh, global trends, emphasis the uh, authentic and naturalized of food. So that can be like a, a story behind that. So the strong regional differences in the food, the cooking methods, different kind of tastes and habits are the level that you are using also with your own cooking. Because of the school system, the food journalism, and everything around it affecting actually for the food. For like this picture here is a local produced and locally ingredients. So each providences like Vasa areas now still have its own specialties. We have uh, Baltic herrings that are mostly spread all over the Finland. We have different kind of uh, uh, bread called Maalahden limpu that nobody else making. It only makes in our locality in Vasa area and we are spreading those things around the Finland. So those are already our own specialties, those two. And there's a lot of more, but I think people know these two items from Vasa area. So from Omnia area, there might be something else that you are specified with, or you can have different kind of things. From Estonia side, I think there's a lot of different kind of things that you can use on this locality and maybe on your own story making, how it, how it's produced, how it gets up and so on. So in many provinces, the food culture is being reformed in many ways. The farm wines, cheese, dairies, breweries, we all have those also in our area. What kind of uh, uh, local drinks there is and so on. I think there is a question somebody have raised. Yeah. Hands. Go ahead. Uh, I'm asking about the menu. How local does the menu need to be? Is 
it okay if the students use like one local ingredient in the menu or should the dish uh, be entirely of the local food? Use yeah. as many as you can find, I think. One yeah. is okay, but even better if you can find more than that. Yeah, and, and that is like, yeah, it's like the combination of the locality and the story. So uh, like a rough example, so you can, you, for example, if you have some certain alcohol or wine, which is really local, and then with that, we can like use that to marinate or make some sauce and put the flavors from the wine into the meat. So maybe that meat is not local, but we have been like using our local ingredients or the specialities and then we get the also the story and a part of its the locality in it so it doesn't have to be like 100 percent. so it's not doesn't have to be like we get okay. the, all the local products on the table and then we start to think what we are going to cook out of it okay okay thanks yeah. but like yeah. sami said if you are able to use only local products, even better, but not not necessarily. I think it's more or less usually the combination of 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 a yeah, local. because the price is gonna play a big part in the local uh, local uh, like uh, thing in uh, the local uh, food is like more expensive, so that's yes. gonna play yeah. a price just. That is that is true, and they, this is just yeah, and then. In some dish, we might have more locality than any than in the other dish. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So this is not yeah. The, the idea of the whole this is this is perfect. It's just to make the brains work and start to think about how we can build different things. And good there example, are a lot of different approaches. Good example for this question is actually there in front of us. So this dish that you can see is made in Vamia uh, restaurant and the school area. So the brown spots are the, the cheese from local producers and everything else around it is not locally produced. So basically there is one segment in this dish that it's local and everything else is just normal, but it's already the main target the main ingredient in this dish. So it makes it locality. And then I have a story also behind it. So the di diversity of, of this one is like uh, open. You can do everything around it. If you just take one ingredient from local producers, let's say beer from small producers, what you can invent with the beer is everything. You can make sauce out of it, you can make ice cream out of it, uh, panna cotta out of it, you name it. So there can be only one, but you can implement a lot of other things around it. So that's how it basically goes. So the locality and uh, small producers from the area doesn't have to be that much that it it infected so much about the price. So on the next slide, Hermanni. So Sami. Next slide. Yeah. Those things are like a dimension of responsibility in the food chains. And it comes for more especially for the lists of primary producers. So the trades and consumers and its criteria will that is promoted and its interaction of local well-being. So basically, with this kind of an idea, we help also the local producers if we are using as restaurants their products. So it helps us and them on the same time. So that was an original idea that we had with Hermanni before of this, to help the producers and also creating that one through the menu. 
So that locality in food making, what it actually means. The locality can be different kind of things. It can cover the wider range of different dimensions than the local food itself. The locality can be viewed through local well-being and interaction, in which case we talk about an impact of our local community and its well-being. So basically, when we are getting these big markets and things around it, like in this picture, it says the locality grows. The locality is the, the main element that we are using on this production of, of the local locality. So in this point, we are also more connected with the people around us. And the benefit of that is that we can also learn from the same subject. Yes. So an important reason for favoring local ingredients and food culture is that the environment is uh, comfortable, comfortable, and when the all ingredients are chartered from the ends of the earth, but then just near growing raw materials, possibly the seasonal products. Every restaurant want, wants to use, if they respect the industry, they want to use some seasonalities. The seasonal products are always on its best. In this season, like for example, strawberries, you need to import it from somewhere. So how that one actually affect with your food making and your menu, if you just import everything? First of all, everything costs a lot. Secondly, you are not using like locality produced or nearby products. So that makes it a bit uh, different, even that the strawberries will look nice if it's coming abroad, but it then it's too expensive to use and there is no benefit for it. So of course, it's also guarantees the freshness of the ingredients all the time when you are using seasonal products on your food making. Yes. So that's a shortcut from the ideas, what it actually means and how it affects your food making. Did that clarifies the idea of story behind the food and the locality with the food and, and, and stories? Eileen, you were saying? Uh, yes, Chef. We understood how we will make it. But just a bit blurry because here in Vaasa, um, I'm still searching for a local producers that we can search because uh, I just searched about Narpe, so it's still it's still outside Vaasa. So no, but local locality, no problem. You can use ah. those ingredients too. It doesn't have to be just next to you. It can be a bit far away, but still it's local produced nearby food. Uh, and I, I, and I think, for example, again, um, it's a flexible idea. If you think about, for example, US, which is a huge country, if compared there, for example, so everything from inside Finland is local food for the Finnish people. Yes. So, so if it comes inside of 500 kilometers, it's local if we think about you know the large countries but and of course the deficient deficient definition of the locality is is slightly more narrow here in finland but i think for example like some said the narpia it's it's close enough and it's also about the idea it's not only the kilometers it's all also like the regional uh things and and for example, we have the Swedish-speaking population here in uh, you know, around Vasa, so they, it's their food culture also. So we get a lot of influence from uh, Sweden. 
Yes. So in this section, the task was to make the story behind your food. You don't have to do it straight away right now. You can take a minute, think about it with your team who you are going to make the food, and then you will make the menu to your menu card as you have placed it. Then you create that visually appealing and selling menu to guests to read. And then you finish it menu with your task and you put it again in your portfolio. And then in this case, it's block. So when it's finished. You don't have to do everything today. That's not the point. This is just an ideas. We're calling, collecting the things together. We guide you through this thing, how to use this uh, platform and you can come back here every time when you need more guidance, more information or more, more things to check like from the videos. Get the ideas of food story. You can go through these things in the internet that like uh, Hermann showed you in the morning on uh, cooking for the future sites, modules, and there you can find this local food creating menu module, and you can find all these uh, showed tasks. From yeah. So there we are going right now. I think it's good to take the break in this point, maybe. Do you want to take a small break to have the brainstorm with the team going through what we're going to do and then carrying on? I have a quick question before I'm forgotten. Sure. Uh, talking about uh, low quality products. Um, is it mean uh, for some reason? Uh, is it so that local product is uh, it need to be for sale in the market or no need to be for sale in the market? Uh, uh, we're talking about early. We mentioned about the beers and uh, alcohol. Is it uh, is it okay that we if uh, we 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 introduce um, homemade product with this kind of alcohol to be a uh, local or not? Because I noted in Finland uh, with the um, uh, alcohol thing is quite quite um, difficult to be in the social media. As I am a food lover and uh, making why uh, every every years. So I was wondering that could I use my as my local product? Is it okay or it's not okay? I make my own wine every year. So I would like I have an idea when it term to to this to make a salt. And of course I use for cooking and drinking with the fruit from the fruit from the uh, from come from the forest finished forest and the garden. So I make that why I just wondering that can it be a local to put in kind of social media. Is that exception or not? It's great that you make your own wine and look and it sounds really, really nice, but you can't use unfortunately in this project. Okay. Because then. you need to sell those also to the people in the end. So uh, I don't think we can use alcohol that you have proved yourself. Okay, it. okay. Then I, I understand. It's a good idea and uh, it's great that you have your own on that kind of a things going on. So keep up that one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Then I, I will skip those ideas to use the alcohol mix with the food. And I, I have some ideas of so just wondering that yes. is it OK? OK, thank you very much. But you can use alcohol. On your food making yep. if it listed from some company. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. And then we had one hand raised. Yeah, I have a question. We have a um, small brainstorm break and I have a question for uh, Tartu people. Kas me lähme nagu mingi teise kõnneva? 
do we make a group uh, so each country can uh, talk, Sammy, or uh, how's that yeah, going? Yeah, it can. Niet, yeah, Argo, let me group it. Saad see link siia gruppi chatte, või no siia kõnna? Minu arvast, nad teevad nüüd niimoodi, et see team ise yes, nagu paneb meid gruppi. Yes, we can päriselt. Yeah. Oh, damn, okay, nice. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so this time we're gonna uh, use uh, teams uh, to make the groups, yes? Yeah, so uh, we can... Yep. The just idea was... To get the, mm. we, we just have to get this... Uh, Mika in. Uh, but I meant that when we have a short break now, you can think about the things. It's not, it's not the task actually. Yeah, it was but, just but, that we're gonna give the break for your own brains to have a, f a few moments to think about it, not going all the teams to make it. I was mentioning that. Yeah, so like a lunch break. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we can take a short break, a half an hour, to get something to eat, and then we get back to this with these things, and we're gonna go through. Yes. And after that, yeah, after the lunch break, we can go also and talk, and then think you can go, go into your own teams, smaller groups. But it's now quarter past 12 uh, in Finland, so it's quarter past, depending of course where you are. But after half an hour, so quarter two, we meet again. Okay, have a nice lunch. Okay, bye. Bye bye. See you.